I rolled the white color, color, bright color shirt and everything. Yeah, damn. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you guys coordinated the <laughs> other way did. today, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, we had that plan. Yeah, yeah, I see how you are. Let's go ahead and push that red button. Yo, Duke, what color shirt please. you wear today? <laughs> That's right. Got Look at this, man. You got the hat, you got the whole profiling. thing. So, what are we going to call this now? We're going to call it the uh, Coon Brothers Service Center Studio. Studio. We're looking it's, kind of, it's got a nice little roll to it. Got a nice little roll to it. Does, it. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And at nine minutes after noon, uh, we go on the throttle as we always do on a Monday afternoon with one Dwayne Hancock. How are you, Dwayne? Not too bad. I'm getting nervous though. There's all kind of cameras. There's cameras. I got a face made for radio, not cameras. <laughs> there's there's cameras <laughs> everywhere, and we have guests all over the place. I know it. Okay, and it's it's a, an exciting day here. In the it is. We've been wanting this for a long time, and yeah. what's it been? Three or four years, and we finally yeah. made it happen. We finally have somebody that wants to sponsor us. How's that? I know it. We have an official <laughs> yeah. studio sponsor. We do. We indeed do, and and it is uh, Coon Brothers. Service Center, and uh, we have a couple of representatives from them here today. Uh, in fact, the good-looking guy sitting next to you, I think we he uses oh, about... Oh, oh that yeah. mother, yes. That guy over there, the, the guy with multiple names and, and both, uh, you know, the... I, I have a theory behind that, okay, but I'm just going to let it rest, and if uh, the cops don't show up today, then we'll all be happy, right? Is that how that so whether yeah. the FBI is looking for him or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if there's any feds out there, that's why he's got two or three multiple names that get, that get along with us. As always, you introduce all the guests, so why don't you do, do the official well, introduction? We're here. pleased to announce, like you said, the Coon Brothers Service Center of Sherwood, Ohio um, uh, studio. And right now we have Craig Bowers with us. And... You know, from Coon Brothers. Well, we'll get the other one in here later. Gotcha. You know, we'll, gotcha. we'll do that. Yep. How about that? Since he's running the camera right now. But sounds uh, good. Uh, welcome aboard, Craig. And, no, we're uh, happy to be here. Yes, I mean, we, you've been on the show before talking about you know the tractor pull and stuff. We'll get, we'll talk about that a little bit. But uh, this deal's been in the works for a couple, well, about a month and a half. And uh, you know, the Coon Brothers are gracious enough to. Uh, Take your recommendation, I think, too, of, hey, this is going to be a good deal for everybody. So thank you for that part, too. Well, I mean, we look at it as an opportunity, really, for both of us. You know, the radio station, uh, the program that you have on the radio station, on the throttle, and uh, what we're trying to do in the little town of Sherwood, Ohio. Uh, we're trying to make, uh, you know, our name out there, what we're doing, um, create awareness. And, uh, you know, when it all boils down at the end of the day, we're just having a blast doing it. Wow, that is amazing. You so, know that, yeah. that that something is happening down there because a lot of folks I don't think think of Sherwood as the uh, booming megalopolis that it's getting to be down there. You know, <laughs> it is. It is. Um, you know, it's kind of funny, but um, the the actual center of Defiance County is Sherwood, Ohio. Okay. So right. you know we've got a lot of things going down there. There's you know some great restaurants, some eateries down there. Um, my opinion, some of the best ice cream in Northwest Ohio is down there. Um, not to bad, not to mention, probably one of the best service centers in Northwest. Ohio. <laughs> you know, we're, we're 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 just getting our feet wet there. You know, we're, I was waiting for that part. Yeah, sure, we left yeah. that part out. <laughs> we're just a few months in, but uh, got a great group of guys down there. Uh, uh, things are going real well. Busier every week, and that's exactly the way we want to build it. So, one person at a time, one neighbor at a time, and uh, you know, just helping everybody out. So, tell us a little bit about what you're doing down there with Coon Brothers. Uh, what we're doing down here is uh, um, all, all your basic auto services, you know, your oil changes, your services, uh, brakes, shocks, struts, suspension. Uh, get, we've got into some engine work already. Um, I mean, pretty much just about anything that needs done on your car, we're going we're gonna to tackle it. Wow. And this is something you've been doing this for quite a while. I mean, this is not, you're not, not your first rodeo, as they say, Craig. No, I, I've been around the business for uh, uh, probably pushing close to 10 years now uh, on the sales side. Um, obviously my, ma my manufacturing background was prior to that. So, but, uh, no, just got a great group of, of owners. I, I call them, but, uh, they're really not owners. I mean, they're really brothers. Um, not only truly brothers, but they're brothers to me too. I mean, I've been around this family for geez. Uh, I mean, ever since we were little kids, you know, and, uh, you know, then my kids growing up, you know, I mean, played sports with, with Luke and Levi and, and, uh, I mean, it's, just a fun group to be around. I mean, it's fun to go to work every day. Now, for anybody that's kind of wondering where Coon Brothers is down in Sherwood, uh, give them a good description as to how they find you down there. 
Um, I mean, obviously coming coming from the you know the metropolis of Brian here. Yeah. Uh, down one twenty seven, come to come to eighteen, take a left, and uh, we're down there five six hundred feet on the south side of the road. You can't mess us. You see all the campers and the motorhomes and all those things for sale. That basically is where you guys are right now. That, correct? That that that's a good word, Jim. Right now. Yeah. Um, that's uh, we're going to be there probably for another four to six months. Um, I'll let Luke talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's going on here, uh, you know, after the commercial break, and uh, kind of let you let him fill you in a little bit on some of the even neater things that's happened in the last month or so. So, um, well, that's yeah, one thing just, I was gonna, ready. Uh, I was going to touch base on too. Not only are they a service center on the racing side of the deal, campers. I mean, how many times you go to racetrack? I don't care if it's Oak Shade. Or Attica, Fremont, where we're at. I mean, there's actual campgrounds at Attica and Fremont for our shows. Um, both racetracks have campgrounds. Eldora, um, you know, they kick off tomorrow night with a huge race. And what better place, uh, you know, got campers, too. So the whole on the throttle deal, not only do you guys fix the stuff, uh, you sell campers and that, too. And I think that'll fit in great with the program, too. You know, it really will. And, uh, you know, just to add, you got to get around at the campground, right? Stop yeah. down. We've got a beautiful yeah. selection of golf carts. Uh, stop in, see them, take them around for spin, hop on them, you know, bring the kids down, yeah. look at them, you know. Drive them over to uh, to Nay and back or well, something yeah. like that. Well, yeah, you could, you could. <laughs> the lot's big enough, we could probably put a circle track on well, that, it. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. Uh, a lot of race teams have golf carts. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No. Or need them. They yep. do. You yeah. know, so. There's no doubt. So yeah. we are kicking off today our, our uh, partnership with Coon Brothers Service Center down in Sherwood, and it will now be known as the uh, On the Throttle in the Coon Brothers Service Center studio. Yes. And we have been uh, talking about this for the last couple of weeks, and now yeah. it has come to fruition. And uh, Look, I've got a fancy that. hat for our camera. <laughs> you gotta, that. that matches my shirt. They did good. Uh, these guys <laughs> have, have thought of know everything it. right now, okay? And uh, that even that hat makes him look a little better than I'm you. I'm dying. Know. For them to make me look good, this fancy hat's got to be pretty fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a nice improvement, right? Let's just well, put that way. Yeah? Uh, you know. so, keep so, the, so we got fine. the most lights on we ever had. Let's keep the shine yeah. down. That's what I want. <laughs> keep the glare away. Yep, looks good. Looks real good. It does. Well, we're going to talk racing. It's about 16 after 12. Let's uh, pay some bills real quick, and when we come back, we'll talk racing. Uh, we'll also get uh, Luke Kuhn in here to talk about uh, some things and what they're going to do down there. So we're going to mix uh, racing and auto service today as we kick off the Coons Brothers Service Center on the Throttle Studio here. And uh, we're going to partner together for hopefully a long, long time, bringing you some great racing news and also some wonderful service if you're looking for service. 1216 on the Q96.5. Here's your uh, commercial break. This is a real good conversation. Yeah. <laughs> what well, FCC is not listen? <laughs> I'll tell you what, these, these guys have, I mean, way, way more than beyond stepped up their game to try to help this little town grow. And, and uh, I mean, it's just amazing some of the stuff that's going on down there. And, you know, some of the new businesses that, that are you know, here, there, and everywhere that are, that are looking at. at of all places, Sherwood, Ohio. Wow. All right, Luke, plop yourself on over there, big guy. How's that? Sounds good. 19 afternoon on the throttle, and uh, we also have one, one of the Coon brothers sitting right next to uh, Dwayne Hancock right now. Yes, it's yeah. uh, Luke. Luke, good to have you in here, buddy. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, too. Uh, tell us a little bit about the plans, because uh, Craig started to talk a little bit about what you guys have planned for uh, the future down in Sherwood, so give us a little update. Sure. Um, <clears throat> so we do have a lot of plans going on. As Craig kind of touched on, our current operation is at the RV dealership that a lot of people are familiar with if you're driving through Sherwood. Um, we're really excited to have secured a property in downtown Sherwood oh. where we're going to be moving the service center downtown. Okay. Um, it's something where we wanted to give the service center its own presence and have its own location, uh, but we wanted to keep that in Sherwood. So it was one of those things where we were looking around, trying to find the right spot, and uh, we're really, really excited about the one we got. Um, it, historically, it has been a Chevrolet dealership in the past. Um, so it's got some really neat history, a really cool building. I'm thinking that we're going to have some really neat stuff that when you're driving through Sherwood, you're going to notice us. Uh, kind of like Craig touched on with everything happening throughout the town. Um, there's a lot going on in Sherwood. Um, kind of like you touched on maybe in the past, it's not what people would have thought of hearing, you know, the town of Sherwood or the village of Sherwood. But yeah. I think there's a lot of really, really great things going on there. And we're happy to be putting more roots there and uh, getting a new location and kind of having a, a place to call our own there for the service center. Heck yeah. Well, see, here's the problem, Jim. 
Yeah. I lived there 20 years ago and I moved out. Then look what happens to the town. As soon as I move out, it just starts booming. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe there's some, maybe there's a coincidence there. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's three doors down from the Coon Brothers, you know, forever and or really? for a while. Yeah. yeah. And then they then they ran you out of town. Yeah. I mean, you moved. <laughs> right in. And, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and at so that you, point in time, then they yeah. paid me to move so they could expand. I think that's yeah. what I was saying. Get that guy out of here. <laughs> so give me a little history of the of Coon Brothers, uh, Luke. How long have you guys been around? Sure. Uh, well, it kind of goes way back to uh, my mom and dad. Um, my dad, Ron, and my mom, Kathy, they started a dealership. It was actually on Holgate Avenue in Defiance originally, um, close to Jig's Root Beer Stand. Yeah. Uh, that was in 1976, July 9th. And then uh, since then, kind of it's grown, moved to Sherwood in the 80s. Um, so that's when we kind of started to make Sherwood our home. Uh, both my brother, Levi, and I grew up around you know the dealership world, doing stuff like that around cars, vehicles, campers, all those things. Um, and then as we graduated high school, we came on to uh, what was then Ron Coon Sales and Service. Um, that's kind of now become Coon Truck and RV. Um, online presence has grown. Our YouTube channel just hit 25,000 subscribers. So you wow. can check us out there on YouTube if you want to see camper tours and different things. Um, kind of like Craig touched on, we're hoping to roll a lot of that same type of marketing and outreach into the service center side of things. Um, we're really excited to be able to do something that's more locally based, where maybe our camper sales was a more nationally based thing, um, where this is something that can really serve our community more than just somebody buying a camper once every five years or something like that. Right. Sure. Um, there's a little more we can do for the school, people, our community, um, our neighbors, all that kind of stuff. So we're really excited to be able to step into this side of the business, too. Um, and be able to, to do things, uh, partnership with Fairview, things like that, that we're doing to kind of be a part of the community and be something that people are proud to have in Sherwood. Um, and I know we're proud to be there. Well, and for all of our national listeners, you heard it. If you're a race fan, Coon uh, RV, it's a, uh, what's the website for us? Uh, the website is truckandrv.com. So spell out and, and drv.com. Um, and they repair them. They, you do all yep, kind of things. We sell RVs, ourselves. repair them, all that kind of stuff. Um, check out our YouTube channel. If you just type in Coon yep. Truck and RV, it's K-U-H-N. Um, that'll come right up. But yeah, we're, uh, Doing all kinds of stuff. That's right. So, oh, wow. Yeah, see? N new, uh, do, you, do you handle a lot of new uh, RVs as well? We do have some new, um, okay. primarily used. Uh -huh. um, we have new truck campers. We have some new travel trailers. Um, we do have a line of new motorhomes, but those have been kind of tough to get lately on order because of yeah. the whole chassis situation. Yep. Those have been more difficult. Yeah. Um, but we've got a really good selection of used motorhomes. We primarily focus on smaller stuff. Um, we find a lot of people want kind of 30 foot and under um, because they can get in and out of places. If they want to go watch the race or something, yeah, they can get sure. in the parking lot easier. Um, it just makes it a little easier for a lot of people, unless they're comfortable driving a big bus and pulling a trailer right. and all that. Um, that the, you know, something the wife can drive or, you know, your son if you're tired, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's great. Yeah. Like you said, they're all down there with the service center. It's going to be a good deal. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, uh, I, I can see it now. You know, my. <laughs> Thoughts never quit, Jim. Yeah, I yeah. see the official AFCS Coon Brothers RV one of these days too. Yeah, I, think so too. <laughs> I think so too. I think I think we need an on the throttle uh, RV to take different places and go. Uh, I, I think that's coming. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 You can see this. You know what he's thinking when you see the smoke coming yeah. out uh, from underneath the hat. Uh, yeah. There you go. And, uh, you you uh, know that the wheels are just cranking in there right. at that point. The mouse is running really quick right now. The wheels spinning. <laughs> So it, automobiles, uh, it, trucks, uh, big trucks, a little bit of anything now that you guys are, are working on service-wise. Pretty much. Um, yeah. Kind of like Craig said, you know, um, we're looking to be able to do really anything. Um, so it's something that with the right crew and having the team that we have there, um, you know, we're not a, a gigantic shop, um, mm -hmm. but the, the people we have are good. Um, they're honest, good guys that, like Craig said, it's, it's good to come to work and that's makes a better environment for everybody. Um, and with the kind of skill set we have there, we can do RVs, trucks, trailers, cars, you name it. Um, yeah, and we're, we're just excited to be able to bring that to our community there in Sherwood. Well, yeah. one really neat thing yeah. is uh, you, when you walk in, because you walk in, it's really nice offices, but they have like a table and chairs, and they even have one of those little uh, coffee deals where you make your get your own coffee or hot chocolate. Yeah, there you go. A uh, refrigerator with uh, water and a uh, pop in it yeah. while you sit there and get your car work done. Wow. <laughs> we keep the beer in the, the break room fridge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't, come on, Craig. You're yeah. holding out on he's me. One, he's exactly. Dwayne was wondering where that was, and thank there goodness goes, Lucy came in and clarified that for him today. Those sales calls are going to be a lot longer now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm hearing that, that they are probably a Napa deal. 
dealer, possibly. Uh, they they use are. Some, they use some Napa parts down they there. They do. Too. Yeah, they do. They're actually going to be in Napa Auto Care Center. They are. That's correct. Wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. They are. Well, that's always good, and you can't, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, you cannot hook up with a better guy than Dwayne Hancock. <laughs> you know, we kid him, and we do everything else, but in all sincerity, the boy works awful hard every day and, and does wonderful things around the area, even though we don't like the blueies. Because if you say, if you agree right now, Luke, okay, Craig and I are going to drag his head through that door. Here in a few minutes, but, but he does do some good things, and just don't let him hear about it. Put, you know, put right. the fingers in his head right, right, real quick so he can't hear that. Get it covered. Yeah, Dwayne's yeah. a good guy to hook up with, you say. I don't know if that's what she said. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. That's, that's kind right. of where that is. But well, that's uh, right. If you're looking for some great auto parts and uh, Dwayne can make it happen. And, you know, I think we're all, we all understand exactly where we are in the world nowadays when coming up with newer products like you're talking about with, with the chassis and some of the parts are in, in short supply. But uh, yeah. I think we're getting there. We're getting back to normal uh, closer and closer, I think, Dwayne. Hopefully. We? Yeah, one of these days. Hopefully. One of these days. Yeah. Well, we're oh, sure. we love having uh, you guys as part of our program, and uh, yes. hopefully this won't be the last time you guys pop over and, and sit down with us, and uh, you know we can pick your brains a little bit about the the RV business uh, as well. Because oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling you, I mean, you go down to Eldora. I don't know what it'll be like tomorrow night, but it's twenty two thousand hour win late mile race on Tuesday yeah. night. But you go down there and two well uh, here May sixth and seventh uh, for the Let's Race two. I guarantee you there'll be probably 10,000 campers down there. Yeah. You go for like King's Royal and stuff like that. I mean, they, I mean, it's, they all grew the Eldora a lot. And they actually got property across the street that goes almost a mile deep full of campers, you know, for the big races. I mean, there's easily a lot of times 10, 15,000 campers down there. So it goes hand in hand. Even our races, the AFCS races, like there's camper. Like I said, both tracks have campground now that tells you, you know, how many people actually camp on their weekends to go to the races so that yeah. kind of goes in i know we're doing the service center but i want to hit on the rv deal too because uh i know we have streamers from all over the united states and uh well when i was in there the other day you guys had somebody from like four hours away looking at a camper coming to pick one up or what so i mean it, it just kind of fits right in the wheelhouse too yeah we can fix your generator even. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a good that, that, that's gotta be a good situation as well. Yes, because yeah. when I had my motor home, my yeah. generator needed fixed a lot. So that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. It didn't run on beer, I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the reason it had to be kid it had to be fixed all the time. He goes, Man, I'm about out of fuel over here. Dump another Budweiser yeah. on there and, and we'll be okay to go, I'm yeah. sure. And then the next day they go, Why why isn't that generator running today? I don't know what happened there. I don't know. Why there's all that may beer, have happened. Why are all those Budweiser? <laughs> cans laying around that generator the generator right now i don't, i really don't know but it was happened sometime this morning yeah <laughs> early wouldn't be the first time there's caution tape and budweiser yeah. cans around my motorhome when i had one <laughs> <laughs> i agree here we go man we're rolling how's that this is fun yeah. <laughs> it flies it really does we're doing it for 50 to minutes to an hour and it seems like you just get started and it's like damn we're already done <laughs> Ohio. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Are you the Coons brothers? Are you guys uh, Browns fans at all? Or you... Lions fans. Lions fans. Gotcha. <laughs> Equally okay. about the same, you know, yeah. tier. Oh, I, can, I can stand the Lions. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm sure for that. Wrapping up our uh, On the Throttle program today, brought to you in the uh, Coons Brothers Service Center studio here today. Yes. And I'll tell you what, it's good to have the Coon brothers on on, the, on our side nowadays. That's right. right. Whether sure. you're looking for a service for your car or your truck or your RV, or you're looking for a, a nice RV to take to the races, that's a, I think that's a great idea. Oh, it is. How many how many RVs are down there right now, Craig? Do you have quite a few? Would you guess uh, 20-ish, 30-ish? There probably, you go. I gave, probably we, a little we, bit more inflation for Luke. We said, I mean, there's, there's probably about 20 in stock or yeah. so. Um, right now, part of the tough part is is we go through all the RVs really well before we list them for sale. Yeah, sure. Um, so that's part of, like, you know, Craig and the team there, they got to go through the the, R, or the mechanical chassis side. Then we got RV techs there to go through the RV side. So we probably got 30 or 40 motorhomes that aren't even listed. Oh, wow. Um, okay. But you can see those if you were to come to our location. We're happy to show those to people. It's just we don't really let them go until we're ready to put our seal of approval on them, so to speak. Well, and that's a good, I mean, especially, yeah. I, I don't know, it, it's tough to buy a new one nowadays because of the cost. I mean, it's like right. a new car or a new uh, trailer or whatever it might be. Uh, they're, they've they got a bit of a premium to them, okay? And and even the, the used ones have maybe a little premium because of the times that we're in. But at the same time, when you buy that one, you really want to know that when you 
roll out that lot, it's going to get you over to see Dwayne in the racing here this weekend. And Luke, I guess that's a that's what you guys think as well, right? Same thing? Oh, yeah. We want to have it ready to go. I mean, we're yeah. going to go through a full demo with you before you leave with it. We get a lot of first timers. So sure. for them, it's uh, it's more than just buying a car. It's like buying a little house, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. we, we really prefer to do business that way. And it's, it's better for both of us, the customer and for us, too. <laughs> when I first started in the radio business back in Alabama, back in the 70s, how's this? And we had a thing going on in the campground, and they, they, they basically – Got somebody, one of the dealers down there, to give us one of those great big motorhome type things, okay? And they brought it over to my place. I was living in an apartment at the time. I had a big parking lot, and I, I no more than pull it out in the uh, on the road, and I run over the neighbor's dog. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It was oh, not no. horrible. Man. It was it was not a good start. Okay, that's been a long time ago, and they're down in Alabama, so they can't find me anymore. But it was not a good way to get this thing going, you know, because I'd never driven one of those big things. And the and the guy that owned the, the radio station says, "Here you go, man. We got to get this out there. So we're gonna let you drive it. And, you know, be, being 22, 23 years old, I can do darn near anything. Right? I can drive this big old thing, and I whip it out of there, and whoop, whoop, and I go, uh oh, that's not good." <laughs> Your picture is still on the walls down there, man. I mean, no one in it. There's a reason why I had to leave Alabama back in the 70s, if you know that. Jim the dog killer, they called him back at that point in time. So uh, can you can you teach me how to drive and not run over anybody's pants? I think that's it. That's I'll leave that to Luke and Lima. <laughs> I think you're on your own there. Yeah. Okay, all right. You know, right. yeah. <laughs> you know, these guys talk about going through these things. I'll tell you what, you know, I used to hate, just hate taking tests in school. Yeah. You know, yeah. those 100, 150 question tests. I'll tell you what, you got to see the list of this thing that they put out on every coach oh, wow. that gets checked, double checked, yeah. tested. Um, I mean, it is crazy, you know. Um, you know, it's not just a little 29 point inspection type thing. Yeah. I mean, this these things are X-rayed basically to go, and you know, so when it's ready to go, it's yeah. ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, and well, that's, that's important too. There's no doubt about that. Oh yeah, for sure. We always just kind of say that you know, if something's not what we said it was. We'll do what we can to make it right, and that yeah. goes for the the RV side and the service side. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. we want to do good business and be good people, and uh, that's that's really the most important part. And if you kind of follow that rule, it seems like everything will work out. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. One hundred percent. There's no doubt about that because that's what people need nowadays. They oh, need yeah. to know that they can go somewhere, have that work done, and then walk away and, and know that it's going to take care of them for a long, long time. There's no doubt. And just be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, for sure. We're we're not we're not going to stand in the office. We're not going to twist your arm. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to badge you. We're not none of that stuff. Yeah. None of that stuff. Yeah. Come in at your leisure. We're not even going to go out and show you the coaches. Okay. All right. The coaches are unlocked. Okay. It's like, there you go, folks. There's a golf cart sitting at the building here. Hop on the golf cart. Go down and look through them all. I don't care if you're here for an hour. I don't care if you're here for four hours. You know? Yeah. If you run through lunch, we'll run up time and grab you a sandwich. I don't care. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. So come down, check it out, you know. Uh, I think it's a great idea. And that's oh, yeah. that's 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 the way we want to do this whole, you know, the service center. And we're that same way. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to you, to working on a car. Jim, it's your car. It's that simple. Yeah. You have to tell us what you want us to do to it. We can suggest, hey, you maybe ought to think about this in the near future or something like that. But at the end of the day, it's your car. Yeah. And that's where yeah. we're that's where we're going to play this game. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, if they if they brought you in, they 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 must be a great group of guys. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, because you know. Uh, Craig Burt Bert Bowers, uh, St. <laughs> John's. Uh, I mean, there's a, it, it, he's got like 14 different aliases around here, but uh, you know it, that's just because uh, he, he needs that many different accounts to pay all that money to Uncle Sam. <laughs> that's you know, right. He's got so that's much right. money. I think that's one of those. You know, to do it, nobody. They look at that and they go, "No, oh, Elon Musk and maybe a few of those guys have that kind of revenue." <laughs> so we need to, you to have three or four different personas so that we can spread that out and honestly believe that. Uh, you know, we we have a, a legitimate uh, tax stream going here at this point in time. Well, that's 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 <laughs> why I do what I do. <laughs> Entirely. All right, that's going to do it for us today. We have pretty much burned a whole hour. 
Uh, and uh, it was great to have uh, Craig Bowers in here with us, uh, as well as Luke Coons today from uh, Coons Brothers Service Center. And it will now be the uh, Coons Brothers Service Center studio for On the Throttle yeah. each and every Monday when we uh, go on the throttle on uh, Monday afternoon. Does the Service Center have a website? Coonbrothers.com. Yep. Coonbrothers.com. Okay. Coonbrothers.com. If you're looking for anything, truckandrv.com. Truckandrv.com. CoonbrothersTruckandRV.com. Uh, if you want to go up and take a look at all the uh, campers and YouTube else. channel, get on there. Maybe yeah. we'll be on there. Maybe we'll have guest appearance. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully you're wearing pants at that point in <laughs> yeah. time. That's all I can Hey, you know, <laughs> I've done stunts over the Grand Canyon that you made that happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they've they color coordinated you today. That's if right. I get a chance to watch this program right. today That's for right. sure. What we'll do here is we'll put yeah. you guys on the road. Yeah. You guys can come down in our wonderful little showroom. Yeah. Yeah. And do your show on the road. Do there on you the go. road down there. That, yeah. there we go. <laughs> that. I, I think we can make on that the, on, on the road. On the road. Too. Yeah. On the throttle on the road. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> we will have a little highlight video of this too that we'll post on our Coon Truck and RV YouTube channel and it'll go on uh, Coon Brothers Service Center Facebook and all that too. Awesome. So if you want to check out, we'll shout out the On the Throttle radio show on there. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, be good for both of us. That will yeah. be. That is fantastic. And you can see how good looking Dwayne Hancock is sure. when his when his hat matches, you know, all the rest of it. All right, almost one o'clock. We've got some bills to pay and turn the corner. I'm gonna close the doors to the dome here on this Monday. I'll be back tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, right here on the Q ninety six point five FM. Okay. All right, guys, we made her. How's that? Yeah, that was fun. Another one bites the dust. Heck yeah. How's that? That was awesome. Yeah, it was. It was always fun. It's always fun to do this. Good to meet you, Sure. Yeah. Real pleasure. You had to come back, man. Yeah. yeah.